Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your Kavik of August reads. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see what is going to go for Scorpions for this week time. Starting today from 15th through the 21st of August. I will be adding charms, I will be pulling out oracle cards as well. I will be adding color cards as well in this reading. So stay tuned for all of that to happen. Uh, but yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So, Scorpions, let's dive into the read and let, let's find out what can you expect coming up for you for this big time. Let's begin. Your souls, there is something which is bothering you. Um, you really feeling feeling pain. You're suffering uh, with a heartache. Um, it seems like you know you really want to have the clarity around the situation that you are dealing with right now. Maybe you are not talking to your person and you have no clarity what is going on in this situation. Uh, for you know on their part, how do they feel for you? How do you feel for them? There's lack of communication, maybe, which is causing you to have uh, the stress. Um, but yes, there is a, this, you know, if this is a lack of communication situation where you're not talking to each other, I feel like, you know, it's causing you to think a lot of negative thoughts. Um, maybe you are assuming that maybe your person is happy without you. Maybe you are assuming that, you know, they, they have moved on. Maybe you are assuming all the negative thoughts that you can think of. And it's more like, you know, you're creating the clouds of doubts around the situation. Um, it seems like, you know, in actuality, it's not as you are, you know, picking it to be. Uh, especially with the, I don't know, with the, it seems like, you know, there's uh, something that you are unaware of. So, you know, even if you are in no communication, maybe you have no idea what's going on with your person, uh, which could be the reason why they are not talking to you. So try not to overthink or indulge into negative thinking at all. Uh, let's see more cards here. Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like you know it's a very uh, on and off energy for you. You are starting of the week feeling pain, feeling suffering. Uh, because there is, uh, you know, not much happening in your love life with your specific someone. Um, you are going to basically uh, start feeling better again uh, as you move into the next couple of days. And then you're going to start feeling like, okay, fine, I, I think I need to stay positive. I need to indulge into things which are going to make you, which going to make me feel good. I do see that happening as well, which is going to be good. But then the love, the feeling, the emotions that you have for a specific someone is going to start coming up again. It is going to be a. It is going to be kind of you know getting on your nerves again. Your passion, your love, your excitement for a specific someone, your madness for them, uh, your addiction for them is going to show up again. So it's going to be a kind of a week where you have you will be going on and off in terms of uh, uh, you would be missing this person. Then you would feel you would be feeling like no, I don't want to reach out to this person. I don't want to talk to them because. You know, uh, whatever has happened, you're going to feel like, you know, you, you should not be the one to, to reach out to that person. So there is going to be a negative mental conversation again that you would be having. But somehow it's uh, it's going to be very uh, restless kind of a week for you where you're going to be checking your phone over and over again, waiting on for them to reach out, waiting on for them to contact and stuff like that. Uh, you might be kind of, you know, seeing them in your dreams as well. And if that happens, maybe... Uh, for majority of you, your dreams are also going to make even uh, make you even more fearful around the situation. Uh, so just just uh, you know just know one thing: if you really have the pull to reach out to this person, maybe you should reach out to that person because it's just going to clear the air for the two of you. Uh, instead of like you know thinking negative around it, um, try try to uh, you know uh, put aside the ego, try to put aside the um, you know fear. And talk to your person if you can or if you want or else like I said you know as you're gonna get yourself busy doing stuff maybe you can try doing that as well but if it is bothering you to the to the point where you're feeling pain suffering maybe it's high time that you open up about you know uh, openly talk to your person about it the team of cards here the hermit it's, it's more like you're spending too much time thinking 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 
I mean, uh, if you want to take action, go ahead, take that just, you know, take that action, make that romantic gesture to your person if you want to. But thinking, 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 and that too negative is just going to add stress to your life and it's just going to make you feel worse. So, which I believe is happening for you, for majority of you for this big time. Yes, Eight of Souls, your mental blocks are definitely like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's clouding you with even more fearful thoughts. So, try, try to break free from it. Um, if, if you don't work towards it, if you don't, uh, you know, try to make, uh, you know, make the first move towards your person, you are going to experience exactly the same situation where you're going to feel um, hurt, in pain, uh, unable to sleep, restless. And if you don't want to deal with this, you know, negative energy, make sure you do two things. One, if you have the urge to talk to your person, go ahead, take that, you know, first step towards them. If not, then try to get yourself busy doing something else. But trust me, if you are suppressing your emotions, suppressing your energies, it's not going to get you the happiness that you want. It's not going to be, it's more like, you know, the suppressing of energy, suppressing of emotions is going to make, make your, 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 you know, your feelings and emotions explode. And you will feel even worse. So try not let that happen. And instead, Make a move towards your person, reach out to your person, talk to your person, um, you know, and uh, maybe if you feel like you, you cannot talk to the person, maybe you can start talking to them using meditation, sending them telepathic messages, maybe that is going to help you ease the stress that you are taking right now around them. So maybe you can try that, but if you don't do anything, I feel like, you know, this week is going to be one of the stressful weeks for you because you are not going to be feeling positive as you are in no communication with your person. Let's see one last card here, Ten of Pentacles. If you really want stability, it's right there in front of you. It can be, uh, you know, uh, uh, this connection can be stable, but you have to take the step to stabilize it. Be that mental step or be that physical step. Having a stable connection with this person is going to bring you your wish fulfillment. It's going to add a lot of stability in your life. That's what you are going to be thinking of. But then your mental blocks, your disappointments, your fears are going to block you again. Only that if you do have the sun, you can be happy in this week time if you are talking to your person. But since you are not choosing to go there, you are not choosing to talk to your person, you are choosing to stay here thinking negative and stuff, it's just going to make your week even worse. If you take, you know, it's, it's more like you are just a step uh, uh, away from, from, you know, uh, you, your happiness is just a call away. Your happiness is just a text away. If you could do that, you are going to be happy. But since you are not choosing to do that, it's just going to be a, you know, um, a very toxic week for you to deal with. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time from the divine messages. Animal guardian, trust your in instincts. Again, follow your gut, follow your instinct. If you feel like taking a uh, step towards someone, go ahead, follow that. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. You can have what you want with this person, but yes, for that, you have to take that action. Uh, because I feel like, you know, it's, um, I feel like, you know, this is the energy of your person. Maybe they are manifesting you and this change in you or this shift in you where you are thinking heavily about your person. But yes, you have to take the step towards them. Otherwise, this is going to be one of the most toxic week in recent times for Scorpions. Let's see one more card here. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. If you have been fearful around this person, this connection, maybe you can take a chance on love with this person again. Um, and trust your instinct again. If you feel the urge, if you feel the need to be with this person, go ahead, make that romantic gesture. Take a step towards your person. Take a chance on love. But yes, if you don't do that, it's not going to be uh, an easy week for you. Let's see which two colors could be significant for you in this week time. Emeralds, calm your bo um, mind, body and soul, number 30. For some of you, it could be age 30. Wearing emerald stone is going to help you calm your body, mind and soul. Plus, it is going to align you to get what you want. So you can wear emerald color in clothes or in stone as well. Then we have magenta. Connect to your deepest inner knowing, number 5. It's very important for you to follow your God, follow the inner knowing. You will be guided towards this one person because that's your wish fulfillment, but somehow you're holding yourself back. Let's see the charms now. Let's see the charms, what the charms have to add. <clears throat> so we 
do have 2 alphabets X and S. This could be your name initial, name initial of the person that you are dealing with. She believed she could, so she did. Uh, the feminine in this connection could be manifesting whatever it is that they wanted with you. And now uh, the universe has their back for sure. And they are going to manifest whatever they desire with you, which could be a happy home life that they see with you. Then I feel like, you know, you really have to basically give in to it. If you are feeling the need to be with this person, don't hold yourself back. Let the emotions lead you right now towards them. So yeah, this pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If it helped you uh, in one way or the other, do like, share and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, you can definitely check the description box for further details on that. Hold on. So yeah, uh, till I do the next reading for you guys, take care and bye-bye.